Hello guys, I'm Chris Bowden from the Geek Group, and I'm here today with Batman. Hello. Continuing the new toys for the VSL. Yep. Okay, so it's one of those nifty videos where we get to unbox something cool, and you get to come use it. This is from our friends at AFF, American Forge and Foundry. We like them. Yes, they send us good stuff. And we get to put together a 6,000 pound capacity engine crane. This is their model 3584. Neat. Let's open it. Box one of three. Yes. Well, it's a big thing. Yeah. And it just keeps getting bigger the longer we get into this video. Also, These... ooh, save those. Okay. Yeah. The Arts and Crafts Studio loves this stuff. This also, holy, I make foam planes. Holy wheels, Batman. That is, that's a serious oh. set. Yeah. Okay. That's one leg. <laughs> wow. I'm just going to set this right here. Oh, you grab this with two hands. This is yeah. <laughs> That's cool. This part's going to be heavy. Wow, this is so much better than the toy engine crane we used to have. I'm liking this. Oh. There's some little brackets. Yep. Next box. Next box. This is so cool. This is so much bigger than the picture was. Because <laughs> I saw a picture on the website, I was like, yeah, we need one of those. <laughs> okay, that's, that's rather substantial. Say, so with this one, we can take apart the cat if we Open really wanted it. to. Oh my God. And the cool thing is, I'm getting a whole new model plane out of this. Right, right. Well, yeah, I mean, that's great. I gotta get me a hot wire cutter. Oh. Oh, I got the important part. You got the piston? Yeah. Can you handle that? I've got it. I am a great and rugged man, sir. Uh-huh. Look at that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I see the most important part. If you lose <laughs> it, you're done. No. Here, you can grab that. Oh, yeah, gee, Knock thanks, man. Up. I got this, word. You just handle my light work there. Oh my, <laughs> oh my gosh. Good luck with that. <laughs> I don't think we've got enough space. Well, this one's easy to unpack. You want, you want to just lift this up? We'll set it right over here. Yeah, sure. Okay, hang on, let me get a You got this, here. princess? Yep, I'm All good. Right. You call him princess. <laughs> there you go. All right, we got wheels and bolts, instructions. This is easy. Yeah. Cool. All right, let me go grab some wrenches again. All right, go, go grab some wrenches. While you do that, I'm going to get this set up. All right, we're back. Yep. We've got everything laid out. Yep. We've got our basic tools that we need for this. There really isn't a lot to it. Right. All right, here's what we got to do. Step one, attach the rear caster wheels, number six, yeah, to the base. And uh, yeah, it's that's all there is says to it. So all right. <laughs> here, you take a wheel. I got a wheel. Now, hang on, hang on, hang on, because there's there's going to be an order to this, and I want to make sure we do it right. Yeah, everything on the bottom. No. No. Caster on the bottom. These go inside, so yeah. you have the washer, the That's lock washer. That's what I meant, because um, yeah. we're working from, yeah. uh, we're upside down. Are we upside down? This is the yeah. bottom yeah, of right. the cart we're looking down. at. So it's cool. okay. See, there's only one hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no hole on the other side? Okay. Confirmed. <laughs> okay. Because that's just the way we set it down. I didn't know we got it right from the start, so cool. We got lucky. This is going to stink so hard. I got it. My fingers are a little fatter. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, you got a wrench? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. The nuts started moving up. It's kind of a pain because you got to do it inside the tube so you don't get a lot of spin for the wrench. Yeah, this all sorts of fun. It's so hard being you. 
Leave my fat fingers alone. <laughs> they did nothing to you. I should just let um. You want you want to start on the next step, and I can work on this. Yeah. Well, no, because we got to flip it over. We so flip the next step. You're, you're here well, with me for a minute. It's sliding in the other ones, isn't it? Hey, you know what you can do? That might be easier upside down. You can give down. me a wrench that fits that. Uh, which is uh oh. <laughs> it's good. it's a specialty yeah, wrench. Yeah, get, get me a wrench to get in there. Just yeah, a totally. Just a box end wrench or an open end wrench to do it. But that's the kind of thing that you want to have tight. What size is it? <laughs> okay, that's as tight as I can get without a wrench. I'll do um, this side. Yeah, we'll have to get creative because oh wow, a regular you, you wrench. totally screwed this up. Well, they kept falling on me. I, man, uh, I was doing it the right the I right order. They I just kept I falling know, on me. I don't know about you. Uh, it's okay because I know about me and I know I was right. <laughs> <laughs> that's it you're going with? Yes. Okay. Hey, Batman. Yeah. It's on. All right. See okay. you and your tiny delicate fingers. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to snug this down. Well, and I'll figure can, out a way to tighten, tighten it later. It after it's flipped over. Oh, now, now we're adding the fun of having the hoist in the way. The hoist is blocking the hoist. Ha ha. But I'm just going to snug this down to where it's on there. Yeah, it's definitely a VSL project. You know why? Huh. I can see it, uh -huh. I can touch it, or I can get a wrench on it. Pick Not one. all three. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh, that, that just came right into win right there. Ah, that's tight. All right. All right, you ready? You want to grab the end? We'll just go over? Yeah. All right. All right, we're going to want to yeah, turn it so we can get the... Side. the... Yeah. <laughs> okay, next step. I bet you it's sliding knees in. I would imagine, but let's see. Insert leg G into base F and lock into position using bolt number 12. That's the uh, bolt the two number bigger, twelve. Of the smaller are the M twelve by twenty set screws. There will be two of them. Okay. The, those two. Yep. Bolts. That that one you got there is that side. Yep. Okay. You want me to lift this up? It'd probably be good. Okay. How far in does it does it go to the white line? Yeah, go to the white line at least. That's that's your maximum safe, I'm guessing. Oh, okay. All right. Get the other side. Wow, that thing's got some reach. Look at the size of this. This is meant, like, we can work on the fire truck comfortably now. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is good for three tons. Yeah. So, it's serious business. You gotta go up a little more. You gotta get a little straighter. You're, there oh. you go. There we go. All the way to the line, okay. Yeah. Batman! I have the coolest go-kart ever! <laughs> All right, so you want the two little set screws? It's something that you only have two of, so it'll be easy. Yeah. Give me one. All right, here. Should be those. Any lock washers or weirdness with these? No, nope, I don't just think there is. Guess you don't really need a wrench or something. No, nah, you don't. You don't need a whole lot for this. All right, there's that one. That one. I would recommend leaving these a little loose so that you can adjust the things in that out. You tighten these when you got it where you want it to stay for a while. Right. All right. All right, so we've got that. I'm just going to put these down finger snug. Okay, next step. I bet you it's going to be this guy. Attach support post C to base F. Yep. And we need two of the number eight bolts, which are M16 by 110. You'll have five bolts that are all the same? Yeah, I believe okay, so. You want two of those. 
All right, you hold that. I'll get two of the bolts. All right, that's, that's those ones <laughs> that's right by That's these, yeah. Yep. All right. Ooh, there go. Okay. Line it up. I can't see that. I was looking at the other side. Oh. You'll take the nut take off. Take the nut off. Hey. All right, wiggle it. There we go. We're through. Hold t hold tight. That's what Hang you're doing. Hang on, the washers. Washers go in the bottom. Don't move. Not moving. Okay. Because like, that, that doesn't make sense with the washers on top. All right. Nope. Come up. You want, it, you want it flat. That should get a lot easier now. All right. All right. Um, so this is I need the wrenches to fit. Is it this one? Yep. And that was the uh, 15, 16. How does a wrench just magically walk away? Oh, it's behind me. Take that side. I was gonna have you tighten the top and I'll hold the bottom. Oh. Okay, I can do it. I can bang. Ah, okay. All right, now we need the two straps. Attach support brackets D to support post C and base F. So up at the top, one of those number eight bolts goes through. Okay, it's not the top hole, it's the second hole, yep. Yeah. And then at the bottom, it's a number eight bolt on each side. Is it the longer number eight bolt that goes up top? Because there's one that's odd from the other ones. I would leave that one separate for now. That might be for bolt 17, 19, or 15. Yeah, it might be. Huh. Yeah. I'd just stick with the regular because it just says eight. Well, look down at Is your eight look, look down at your key. Yeah, eight is the M16 by 110. We have five of those. It's the only bolt we have oh, five right, of. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Then, yeah, that's this one. All right. So you put one up there. Bolt goes in this side, washer and nut on this side. And then at the bottom, it's exactly what you think it is. Here, give me another one of those. Leave it a little loose while we wiggle it around. Do we want it on the inside of the track or does uh, it go to the no, outside? No, it goes on the outside. Uh, wait, inside. Okay. I was yep. like, this looks a little weird. Yep, inside. Cool. And then. At the bottom, bolt goes in from the outside, nut and washer on the inside. Yep. Hey, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> um, you sure it's on, on the inside of the support structure? Yeah, everything looks just like the picture. But we're like a quarter inch off. Well, so see, they don't show if it goes inside or outside on the picture. Yeah, they do. See? On the picture, inside. See the dotted line? Inside. So mm. we are doing it right, and it is that hole, which is the second hole. So, yeah, we're doing it right. We just got to tweak it a bit. Yeah. So lean on it. 
Would it be easier to do the t bottom ones than try and do the top? Maybe. And if that doesn't work, what we'll do is we'll put the thing on and that'll pull it forward a little. So here. I'm on the bottom. How's that hole line up? That line up better? That line's up better than what we were All going right. on. So I can, I can fight a little easier now. Yep. All right. Let's just put these on so they don't fall or anything. All right. Oh, way better. Okay. This one's still a little. Here. I got a hand in there. I got a hand in there. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> well, why are you putting your hand there? We need to motivate that a little bit. A little you good bit. there? All right, grab it in the middle and pull it out just a bit. Just a little bit. Oh, oh, ah, oh, got it, got it, all right. Quick, put the nut on. Yeah. <laughs> Before it pops apart. Okay. Well, it's going to be under tension, yeah. so that'll, that'll tweak everything. All right, give me the big wrench. Oh, this? Yeah, that's the one. Okay, here. You take that side, I'll take this side. Yeah, this whole thing says not messing around. Yeah. This is Let's hope we got enough room. Uh, <laughs> that needs to be about a foot longer, I'm just saying, okay? <laughs> what? What? You ain't got the stones for it, mate. Come on now. All right. Next is... I suppose we should probably tighten these down here. Yeah, do that. At, uh, attach boom B to support post C. So the boom you, you, you can do that while I tighten these. Yeah, I'll just toss that over my shoulder. Yeah. Here. We need... 17, 23, 14. I'm assuming 17. probably the one big beefy bolt we got. It's an M20 by 135. So probably the big bolt, yeah. That would, that would be my guess. Oh crap, I got a couple big bolts. <laughs> You'll only have one of these. Right, well I have a couple, I have three big bolts that I only have one of. Well this is number 17, which is an M20 by 135 millimeters long. European. It should actually be a size smaller in diameter than the other ones that we were just using, because the other ones were M22s. By 125, this will be longer but a little skinnier. Does that make sense? <sighs> the only one we got for that is this guy. <laughs> You tell me that little guy holds up this entire boom. See how it fits the hole in the end. I guess. Yeah, it's too small. You need a bigger one. See how easy that is? Yeah. I just did engineering right there. Yeah, look at just that. solved that whole thing. But it says that it's uh, it's bolt 17, which is an M20 by 135. This this one fits nice. Yeah, that one that one looks like it fits. Try it in there and see how it fits. Oh yeah, that's it. All right. So you want me to hold the boom? You do a thing, or you want me? To yeah, do you're funny. Hold? I can do either way. Yeah, yeah. I'm hardcore. I got this. I'll see you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Grab that little piece of metal there. Yeah, just this little Let's piece. Toss it right here. up here. Okay. Let's do this right, so we don't mess up my back. <laughs> Come on, muscles. All right. Come straight on in. Don't scratch it. It's brand new. Got it. Okay, now set it down easy. All right. Why well, it's crooked, is it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next one is uh, attach bottom of a hydraulic ram E to support post C with bolt 13, 
which is a M20 by 100 bolt. That's that one. That's that one. You got well, two of those? Uh, yeah, well, only, these are, these are slightly different. They're both slightly, one goes to the bottom, one goes to the... All right, well, the one for the bottom is bolt 13, which is M20 by 100. I'm pretty sure it's this one. The one for the top is bolt 15, which is an M22 by 125. Yeah, this one's definitely... So, it, this one's which one's enough. smaller? This one isn't long enough, so this one's it. Ah, okay. Well, See, this one's nowhere near long enough, okay. so, so then that's, that's, that's where we want to be. All right. Um, you want me to grab the ram, you do the bolts, or what? Uh, well, surprise me. I can do this. <laughs> uh, I should probably connect the bottom first. Yeah, you do the bottom first. Okay, now, how do we want this? Do we want it? Look at the picture. Which way does it go? Valve out or valve in? Doesn't really, it's preference at this point, which... Well, let's see well, what the picture on. says. Let's do it. Picture Mine. says valve out. All right, here, you ready? Oh yeah, I probably wouldn't fit the other way. You through? Yep, I'm through. Okay. All right, now we gotta put this into here. Yeah, that's a jack it up a we little. Got, yeah, give me the handle. Hydraulic oil will come separate. <laughs> 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 no, it's working. Yeah. I, All right, you stick a bolt in the end of that and spin it around. That was easy. Oh, mouse. Oh, <laughs> this, this might take a minute. <laughs> I don't think I need. Yeah. Yeah, it was it. You're not I waiting. I was like, why, why am I using a handle for this? I can just do it in my hand. All right, line it up. Keep coming. Keep coming. Almost. A little bit more. A little bit more. Oh, right there. Okay. Oh. Cool. Are we going to put me in a harness again? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we need to for this one. All right. Okay. Um, I don't know what the next part is. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, this is so hard to do. Um, attach. I'm pretty sure this goes. Oh, attach top of hydraulic ram. The, at this time, go around all of the components, ensure that all the nuts and bolts are tight. I guess we should probably actually do that. Yeah, again. Let's, let's do it. That's what the instructions say. And whoever wrote these obviously knew, you know, more about this machine than we do. Right. So go tighten everything. All right. You'll just look pretty. Yeah, while you do that, I'm going to read these and just let this get a little higher. After this, it's boom extension A into boom B and secure. And then attach the swiveling handle to support post C and a swivel hook to the boom extension A. Where are those at? I don't know. I'll figure it out. Are they already attached? Did you get these? I thought you did. Well, to, my, to the level of my ability. Oh, all right. It's about level. All right. This side's tight? Yep. All right, then I'm just going to put the handle right in there. All right, so now we do the boom extension, and that goes in with bolt 15. We need bolt 15, which is an M22 by 125. I bet it's the last one we got. I would imagine so. Do you only have one big bolt left? Yeah. That's well, totally I got two them. little ones for the handle. Then. All right. I'm gonna put this in. Well, no, let's put it all the way out. We've got it. We we have it unfurled. Uh, um, on one ton. Oh, let me, you let me find it. the hole. All right, let me know when I'm there. Keep coming. Oh, back a little. That's Next. it.
OK. So this is the one ton length way, way, way out. But wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of crank. OK, you're going you're gonna to want to tighten this down out here, too. You, you know what this will be fun for. What? Well, these are meant to kind of fit through regular doors as well. Yeah. High voltage? Uh, yeah. Oh, man. For this thing's so tall, too. Yeah. All yeah. right. <laughs> so it's um, more than just VSL. Positioning handle to support post C. Oh, that I did that already. And swivel hook to boom assembly A. It's on there. So, yeah. The piece de resistance. Oh, that's the positioning handle. Okay, yeah. I, I thought they meant the jack handle, but yeah. That's it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. cool. Just got to tighten everything else down. Yeah. Right wow, it's bloody huge. This is tight. I like it. So you think this is enough for the VSL? I hope so. <laughs> this will have everything from my Honda Civic to the fire truck and everything in between. Well, it's funny is like this extension here, which is its shortest, is like the longest extension of like most of the list. Yeah, set. yeah, this is this is epic. It's for serious mojo. Now that we've seen it at full length, I'm gonna slide this in and see how tight it folds up for storage and whatnot. All right, that's the three ton capacity position. Yep. I also got to slide the. Yeah, slide the wheels in. All right. So, and then the last step for folding it all up is just open the valve. I like that it has an actual handle on the it valve. It does. It has it has a real handle. Boop. And that's a ringtone. So that's all and then this big massive thing, even a little guy like me can just put it wherever you want and that's cool. So we got a new toy for the VSL. Yep. All right. We want to thank the really cool guys at American Forge and Foundry who made this possible. This is their model 3584 6,000 pound capacity engine crane, and it is now available for member use here at The Geek Group. So you guys have fun. Learn more about us at thegeekgroup.org. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Batman. And as always, we'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.